Alright guys, we are back. So, uh, like I said in the previous part, we're gonna go ahead and explore, uh, the Galleria. Uh, see what's inside. Um, I... See, I'm tempted to go to the Cruising Highway just to talk to those two nobles, but... I think we can save that for later. I don't wanna... Eh, we'll figure it out. But let's... Anyway. Let's see, let's see who's in the Galleria. Alright, hang on one second. Let me just a quick setting. I forgot to do this. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Wow. Uh, it was a volume again. It was acting up. All right, so story event is upstairs, I think. Yep, upstairs. So let's go ahead and talk to everyone down here first. Let's see. Uh, Alois. Good day. Can I recommend for you some of our fine wine? The nobility are burning holes in their wallets. They're spending so fast. We're almost out of stock. <laughs> we'll have to order some more in before we run out. Okay, and Dad still seems awfully glum, but if you ask me, the current state of the economy is a great thing. We might be at war, but we aren't the ones fighting. That's the soldiers. We have nothing to worry about. Oh my god, see, it's this thing that's starting to annoy me. <laughs> Alright, so here's the Henderson. Welcome, welcome. Our wares have been selling extremely well lately thanks to the provincial army economy. It's, uh, just a shame that the tax increase canceled out all the, of the extra money we have earned. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so even though they're making a profit, that profit just pretty much goes to the taxes and Yeah, it's just one big loop. All right, I really hope this war ends soon. If not, we may we may end up in the red. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't care which side wins, so as long as this war ends soon. Of course, I can't be vocal about that when our whole store is celebrating the Noble Alliance's victories. That's true. <laughs> you don't want to say anything out loud like that. Okay, so, all right, regular shop. So, you know, all these items. Let's see, food items. I mentioned in the last session, I forgot to make uh, cook food items, uh, you know, for us. So I totally forgot. Uh, we do need battle scope, so I'm gonna buy. Yeah, let's buy 11. There we go. All right, food items. I think we're okay on Chris. Onion. We'll buy one. Might as well even it out. Same thing with the potato. Okay. Same thing for the salt. Come on, man. <laughs> I, I hate when things are n not even. Okay. Uh, accessories. Uh, kitty watch. Part of a set. Hmm. Tempting. But we'll probably find that later. Um, alright, that's it for that. Well, I, I don't worry, I do remember we did get a lot of Sepith mass. We'll exchange that at some point. Uh, let's see, who's this guy? Uh, Butler Fortster. Haha, <laughs> Lady Vo Viola and Lady Eslin surely do spend a lot of time together. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised that they would run into one another here, seeing as how much they both love fashion. I fear they may end up talking for even longer than usual today, though. <laughs> I'm going to have to quite the challenge ahead of me trying to get them to return home before nightfall. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. Didn't he, like, complain that the two people that he was looking after, they, like, talked for forever? <laughs> like, during our first session of, uh, Brayhard? That was kind of funny, actually. Um, Lady v Viola, do you, do you remember that you have a party to attend this evening? You may wish to end your spree for the day. Lady Viola? Can you hear me? <laughs> it's like, and it begins. <laughs> Alright, um, alright. Is this her? Oh, no, the, the one who's kept walking. Alright, so Viola. Oh, ho, ho. my assets went and doubled over the past month. Clearly, this is a sign that I should go on a shopping spree. Bring me my purse, Forrester. We're buying more than you can carry, my good servant. Ha <laughs> ha, your sense of humor is on point as usual, my lady. Uh, you are joking, weren't you? <laughs> oh, God, poor guy. Uh, I just can't find any boots that will go well with my dress. Oh, how about these? They look like they might work wonderfully. I should ask Aslan what she thinks. Okay, anything else? No, that's it. All right, uh, Aslan, right? Oh, goodness. Valenti has new clothing in stock. How in the world do they manage to attain such a lovely design while making it feel so silky smooth? I simply can't get enough of it. Okay. Uh, perhaps I should get something custom made with this material. It'd go well with some black mink fur. I should ask Viola for her thoughts, too. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the shops, finally. Let's see. Gustache. Or gotch, oh, whatever his name is. All right, Christie's and Christie's is currently holding a commemorative fair to celebrate the noble lines' multiple victories. Perhaps I should, I could interest you in these luxurious shoes, modeled after Lord Rufus's own personal favorites. They're selling rather well. I'll bet only with the nobility. Lord Rufus's popularity really is something else. <laughs> I wonder if we could turn him into a brand name. Oh God. All right, there's no doubt that noble lines' continuous victories are due to Lord Rufus's cunning strategies. It's only natural that his popularity has exploded recently. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, I can definitely see his clothing line now. The Rufus. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to really hate this area. 
Anyway, um, okay, so new shoes, I guess. Uh, reinforced boots, spike gear, military gear, shield spikes. Alright, nothing much. Uh, pretty much uh, pretty much the only character who needs actual new stuff is probably Emma. Because, like, her stuff is pretty basic. It's like Claire's gear, pretty much. Uh, let's see, cozy socks, rinse freeze, gives 15% strength, or 15 plus strength. And then passion leggings. Leggings that fill you with passion when worn, so anyone can equip this. Uh, but that's pretty expensive. Seriously. Alright, we're good here. Um, what about over here? Let's see. Tanya. I can't handle all these soldiers in town. What should I do if one of them wants to talk to me? Oh, goodness. I I'm so sorry. I should be focusing on work. <laughs> right. I need to focus on work. I is there anything you need? <laughs> She's embarrassed. Alright, uh, what does she have? Alright, reinforced vest. Fiber jacket. Survival vest. Yeah, that's what Emma has equipped. And then shield coat. A protective coat that was made from special materials. 1800. Yeah, I, def I definitely need to get some new gear for uh, Emma when I can. Let's see. Energy bandana. Cooling belt. Soft stole. Orange cape. And prismatic cape. Alright, we don't need to buy these. Because like, like, like in the first thing, we we'll probably find these at some point. So we don't need to spend any money. Uh, I do feel like I need to buy something for Emma, though. And of course, I think Machias. Wait, Machias too? Oh, no, not Machias. Okay, for a second there, I thought I had to get him something. Uh, yeah, definitely for Emma. Uh, we'll come back, though. Like I said, we're, we're just window shopping at the moment. I mean, besides the, the food items that we bought a few minutes ago. Uh, let's see. All right, there's someone over there. We'll, we'll check in a second. I don't want to spoil the surprise yet. Let's see. Brash. It's probably the weapons guy, right? All right, welcome. We currently have the latest in our, uh, uh, from Ruer in stock. The noble and certainly has been putting our weapons to good use, so perhaps you'll like to update your equipment as well. Do forgive us for the prices. We have to make up for the taxes somehow. All right, and uh, all regions under direct rule of the four great houses have been doing extremely well ever since this war broke out. We rarely hear of, of what goes on in the regions the war is actually affecting, though. I pray things aren't too terrible. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on, what was that? Uh, oh, okay, never mind, same thing. Oh, whoops. All right, let's see what he has. All right, Asagiri. Uh, this is actually pretty basic stuff, so we actually don't need to buy anything, to be quite honest. Hold on, what's, uh, what was it, Stonecracker, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, what's this, tri Tricorn, um, a fashionable but formal pointed hat used by horsemen. That's pretty lame, to be quite honest. <laughs> okay, no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything for anyone here. We don't really need to get anything. That's pretty sad. I thought it was going to be new equipment, but whatever. All right, let's see who, let's reveal who it is. Who is it? It's... Who is that? Seriously. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, I think I, I know who it is. Hold on. So it's Teresa. Let's talk to her. Why does father have to be so hard-headed? Okay, so yeah, she was the one from the lacrosse team, I believe. Let's, well, let's talk to her first. The least he could do is actually consider things from my perspective. Please be safe, Emily. Yes, okay. I, I Okay, I definitely... It's confirmed. It's definitely her from the lacrosse team. Okay, cool. Damn, I wish I brought Elisa now. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Yep. Teresa, you're here. Reed? What are you doing here? Is Lisa with you? She's not in Berehar right now, but I can tell you that she's safe and unharmed. Thank goodness you're okay. Elisa was worried about you. Hehe, <laughs> we'll have to tell her about this as soon as we return to Ymir. Oh, God. See, now I wish I brought, um, brought her with us. I feel bad now. <laughs> All right. What else is going to happen, though? So you ended up getting separated from the others you escaped with. That's right. Things were pretty hectic at the time, so... I have no idea what happened to Emily and Ferris, unfortunately. Ah, that's right, Ferris as well. Okay. I'm sure it must have been a relief to come home, at least. I can only imagine how worried your family must have been, too. Well, you could say that. Though this war is as good as one in the eyes of most nobles, my family is no exception. In fact, they're enjoying life more than ever right now about na or ever right about now. Perhaps that much is to be expected from those in Berea hard. It is widely known that the Noble Alliance is currently dominating. Father keeps trying to appease me by take, taking me to fancy restaurants and the like, but... The fact that he doesn't understand how I feel makes it painful to even talk to him. That's why I ended up excusing myself. <laughs> Childish of me, isn't it? Not at all. I understand exactly how you feel. I was the same back when I had no idea what was going on with everyone else. Speaking of which... You wouldn't happen to have any information about uses, would you? No, I'm afraid not. I know he's back in Berea hard, but you probably know that much already. 
Sorry for not being able to help. Hmm. Not at all. There's no need to feel guilty. I think I'll head back to the restaurant after all. I might be able to get some information for you through my father's connections. Sorry for me. Excuse me. Sorry for making you go out of your way. We do appreciate it, though. Just try not to expect much. We'll probably end up arguing again. Okay. I have to admit that I've been, I'm a bit jealous of you all. You have the freedom to do what you want. That's precisely why I like to ask that you do everything you can for now, both in my and other people's steed. And also, if you happen to come across Emily or anyone else from Thor's, please help them. Of course, that was our intent from the beginning. In turn, we'd like for you to not be so hard on yourself. Hehe, <laughs> thanks. I'll see you all again soon, I hope. Alright. So there we go. Ther Teresa from the lacrosse team. Alright. Alright, Celine. Heh. <laughs> Guess you can't shove all nobles in the same label, can you? I'm a bit disappointed that you're only realizing that now. <laughs> anyway, we should continue searching for clues elsewhere. Right. Okay, so there we go. We found another classmate. All right, character notebook updated. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that as well. Let's see. Under characters, uh, class. Here we go. Teresa, daughter of a baron from Varejar, best friends of Emily, someone her father does not approve of. So lacrosse, lac yeah, lacrosse club. There we go. Okay. Yep. Just like uh, just like in the first game. Cool. All right. Hold on. What was that? Uh, okay. We ran into Teresa in the shop near the station. She seemed, she seemed pretty worried about her friend Emily after being separated from her. All right. Okay, so far so good. I think we're almost pretty much done exploring the rest of Berehard. Besides the Noble District, but anyway. Uh, let's see. Who's this girl? Uh, Electra. I found out recently that the Master's household has a long history of being involved in military matters. Which is why he's seen fit to join the front lines in the war. Truthfully, getting chores done has become much easier with him out of the house. Hehe. <laughs> I can't wait to finally clear out all the junk from our storage and have the floorboards in the study changed over. Okay. <laughs> Uh, getting things done when the master's present proves to be difficult due to his indecisiveness. Hehe, <laughs> with his absence, I can finally go all out with my cleaning spree. Alright. Get stuff done. That's how it should be. Alright, this is the bookstore, right? Alright, Stan. Welcome! We're currently holding a commemorative fair to celebrate the Noble Lines' vulnerable victories. This store in particular has been around since the Middle Ages, so we have all sorts of books related to nobles. Feel free to pursue them if you feel so inclined. Uh, more and more people have started returning from Heimdar ever since this war broke out. Understandable, too, considering things are far safer here. I wonder if the rumor of the Noble Lines' non-aggression pact with Crossbow and Calvert is true, though. I hope it is, considering we don't have Gorelia Fortress to protect us anymore. Alright, um... Oh, wait, hold on, what was that? Rumor has it the Noble Lines made a non-aggression pact with both Crossbow and Calvert. The fact that Crossbow has yet to make a move seems to prove it, but I still feel rather appreci appreciative of it. Alright. Whew, god damn, sorry, my throat's tearing out for some reason. Alright, let's check out the shop. Uh, Imperial Chronicle 3, where I bought that. Manly Munchies Jelly, Soup, Gamer Jack 5, 6. Alright, cool, let's buy these. Very nice, get that collection going. And what's this one? Heart Handbook. Evasion 5, Critical 5, a small book full of inspiring words about the heart. Okay, I could give this to Fig. It does at least jump it up to 40. Eh, I think we're good. Okay. What else can we see? Alright, who's over here? Wait, is that it? Is that all the shops, really? Oh, okay, no, I'm, I'm an idiot. I was thinking there was a restaurant up here, but that was back in Heimdar, not here. <laughs> My bad. Alright, let's keep... I guess we're done here, guys, so I guess we can just proceed with the main story? Um... I still don't know. Should I buy equipment for Emma? Let me double check. Alright, flexible coat, wind shoes, shield coat and shield spikes, clown robe and cloud shoes, blue scale mail... Shield cone, shield spikes, and survival vest and military gear. You know what? I would feel bad if I just left and didn't buy anything from Emma. Of, of all the characters, you know, she does need a slight boost. So let's go ahead and buy stuff for her. Uh, let's check if anyone else needs them. Shield spikes. Okay. So, hold on. Who has who has similar stuff? The shield spikes? So, it'd be the same for Sharon and... Uh... Okay, so similar to Sharon's gear, I guess. Let me just double check everyone. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy it for Emma. There we go. Okay. And then over here. It's going to be a bit expensive, right, for the other one? The shield coat. Let me double check. Okay, so Sharon has it equipped. Yeah, we'll, we'll equip it to Emma. Why not? It's okay. We can spend just a little bit of money for our characters. There we go. All right, so Emma is a little more improved now. <laughs> Slightly, I guess. 
Yep, shield coat. Okay. Yep. Of course, if we give her the feather boots, I give her like plus three speed, but it's not necessary, I guess. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and double check everyone. Blue scale male. He's got like the better one. And she has cloud robe. Okay. All right, just double checking things. All right, he's got that. All right. All right, so we're good here. Let's get going. Man, so we talked to two places in particular. Um, you know what? I actually just, just for the hell of it, I want to see what, what what we say to those two noble soldiers. <laughs> just for the hell of it, I want to see. Uh oh, something's lo oh okay. For a second, I was like, oh, is something loading? All right, hold on. Anyway, so it seems like there's only two treasure chests, and then North Korea's in Highway Two. Um, I don't think we need to explore. We'll just talk to these guys. Let's see. Haha, <laughs> all hope isn't lost yet. Reports say that some fools in opposition of the Noble Lands are hiding in this area. We'll be able to make a name for ourselves if we can catch them. Hee <laughs> hee, we can't let this opportunity slip past us. You wouldn't happen to be the rumored rebels, would you? Just joking, of course. Even they wouldn't be so foolish as to wander around here. Wahahaha. <laughs> wow. You're an idiot. <laughs> Alright, and this guy. Oh shit, whoops, don't don't engage. Don't engage, Reen. <laughs> While our constant victories may please the people, it's somewhat depressing for those of us stationed here. If we're stuck on the sidelines, we lose out on the opportunity to prove ourselves in battle. Proving one's worth is the noble's way, after all. We would appreciate the opportunity to do so. Anything else? I can't contain my envy for both those at Twin Dragon's Bridge and those who went to Heimdall with Lord Rufus. Meanwhile, we have no choice but to stand by idly, waiting for the opportunity to prove our worth to come. Okay, interesting. All right, like I said, we don't need to fight those monsters yet. I'm assuming there's probably going to be a quest later. Just like in, uh, Legram. I mean, we found the two hidden quests, don't get me wrong, but I guess we can check the... We can check that field later. Because right now, our objective is just to find uses. And I, I don't want to waste too much time. Because we pretty much spent the past two parts just exploring, <laughs> to be quite honest. I feel kind of bad. Then again, do I want to start the side questing right now? Or should I just save that for after we go to the Noble District? I don't know, to be quite honest. What do you guys think? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm literally just asking you guys. <laughs> oh. Hmm? Something wrong, Sharon? <laughs> oh no, not at all. <sighs> what? What? Ha you can't just make a, a, a sound like that and expect us to ignore it. What happened? Uh, is this is this probably something about the noble district if we go there? Because there's nothing else except green uh, things up here. God damn it. Okay, you know what? Um, how about this? So let's actually start the side questing now. We'll do those now, and then we'll go check out the noble district for next time. Because I feel like we're, we're going to spend our time mostly checking out this stuff. So, yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do uh, the kitten one first. So the kitten one was uh, over there, and then the crying tears was the statue over there. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Here's the dog. Maybe he'll give us clues. What about you, Richard? Do you have any clues about where the kitten is? Guess not. Pipe down, Richard. Okay. All right, I guess we'll uh, talk to these a-holes again. Remember these guys? They were such dicks to us in the first game. Let's see. Oh, I just can't wait to see how long the Imperial Army will entertain us for. Indeed. Idly, they'll do their best at making our little bet all the more exciting. Woof, woof, grr. Woof, woof, woof. Settle down, Richard. Goodness, he's been on edge ever since that filthy kitten dared to approach us. Heh, <laughs> leave him be for now. Perhaps he simply wishes to experience the thrill of the hunt once again. We can't exactly blame him after seeing such an unsightly thing. Sounds like our missing kitten came here at some point. That aside, do the people just strive to be as annoying as possible? Okay, see, I actually had to agree. After talking to most of these NPCs for the past two parts, I'm getting really pissed off at the nobles. Seriously. Well, I can't entirely disagree. <laughs> Gotta say, I feel bad for Bootsy. I'm sure he was terrified after being barked at. It's not uncommon for kittens to run off in situations like that, only to end up not being able to find their way home. Curiosity killed the cat and all that. Right. <laughs> all right. He's barking towards the south, so I assume that's where the kitten went. Let's hurry up and find him. Right. Okay. Well, bad dog, Richard. 
Pipe down, Richard. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Do these guys say anything? It's Hassan. Good grief. He's been on edge ever since. Okay. Filthy kitten. Leave him be. Blah, blah, blah. Hunt. He's barking towards the south, so I assume that's where the kitten went. All right. Let's hurry up and find him. Hold on. Anything else? Does this guy say anything different? Nope. Same thing. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here, because I really don't like talking to these people. These people are so evil. <laughs> All right. So he said south, though, right? So... Hold on. That's north. So... Wait. Um... Uh, you know what? Hang on. Maybe... I don't know. Do we talk to the people? Oh, God, it's so confusing. Hold on. Uh, young man. I don't know. Do I... Is, he said go to the south. Hold on. If, if I check the map again. So this, that's north or is this south? Okay, no. This is north right now. So he said to the south? But the south of the dog barking. Oh, God. This is so confusing. Um, hold on. Anyone... Can I talk to anyone? Here? Nope. You know what? Screw it. Let's just, I guess south means Artisan Street, so we'll go down there. Screw it. Because <laughs> that's... Yeah, see? So this is north, so it should... It's directly... Wait. I'm so confused now. I just confused myself. Um, you know what? Let's just go... Let's just go to... He said south. We might as well check out Artisan Street. <laughs> I have no clue. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so confused. Um, oh, okay. Maybe... Okay, so I guess we were kind of right. God damn it, this game, seriously. I, 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 I can read the map fine, guys. Don't get me wrong. I know how to read the map. I'm just like, ugh. All right, so I guess we talked to this kid. He wasn't here before. So, Bisque. All right, I guess he, we're on the right track. All right, hee <laughs> hee. He's so cute. Wait, I'm still on the clock. I'll never hear the end of it if I get caught in the la-la land. Sorry for asking out of nowhere, but did a kitten just come by here? Damn. How'd you know? You're right, though. I came here looking all hungry, so I gave it some milk and leftovers. It was all over me after that. <laughs> I guess he calmed down after a nice treat. Chances are he'll be trying to get back to Eva now. Which means he should be returning to the Noble District. Do you think he'll be able to find his way back? We should probably check, just to be sure. Okay, anything else, though? Man, what a cute kitty. Too bad I went back up the street. I wonder where it's going. Guess I should get back to work. I assume he's trying to return to Ava. I hope he managed to do so safely. All right, anything else, though? Nope. All right, that's it. Okay, so uh, psh, back to the Noble District, then. Okay. Yeah, really sorry. I, got, I, can't believe, I can't believe I got confused by the map. It's probably just the way they said it. You know, like He went south, but it's like south of the direction of the compass of the map or south in, like, little south of the Noble District. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we should talk to... Uh, the old lady again. <clears throat> so let's go down here. So should we talk to her? Let's see. Bootsy ran off while I was now. Oh no. Okay, no, it's the same. Um, so it's not here. So where do we go? <clears throat> Shoot. Uh, great. So it's not in the noble district. Um. Shoot. Where do we go now? Do, do I start talking to people? Hang on. No, same thing. All right, well, it's obviously not here because the marker, that's just the, the the other quest, and the lady didn't say much. Um, should we check the station street? I guess we should. What the hell? Seriously, this, this quest is really weird because usually it actually tells you where to go. I mean, they said back up the Noble District Street, but I didn't see anything. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, okay, the two girls. Obviously, they play with a cute little kitten. Let's see. All right, that kitten was the most adorable thing I ever laid eyes on. Hehe, <laughs> I don't think anyone could ignore that innocent little expression they had. Oh, they're from St. Estrella. They might know where that kitten went. Let's ask them. Indeed. Sorry to intrude, but we happened to overhear your conversation just now. Could you tell us more about where that kitten went? We're actually searching for him on behalf of his owner. Oh, is that so? He was here a moment ago until he got frightened away by a passing car. He ran off north after that. <sighs> he was so cute, too. Oh, dear. He may have wandered out onto the highway if he went that way. Oh, great. <laughs> we should hurry. Otherwise, he could have come under attack by monsters. Ugh, <sighs> talk about a pain. The highway's dangerous for us, too. We can't just abandon him. Let's go. All right, um... Hold on, anything else? The kid headed north after it was scared off by a passing car. What a shame, too. It was such a cute little thing. And then what about her? 
Getting to see a kid as cute as that makes me glad we came back to Berea hard. Hehe, <laughs> I hope it comes back. Okay, um, I guess we gotta go north to North Cruzian Highway. Uh, this is gonna turn out bad, isn't it? Like, do we have to fight a monster to save the kitty? Or is the kitty, like, close by? Let's see. Oh, dear lord, the kid's all the way over there. <laughs> God. Okay, um... I guess we can go get the kitty, but unfortunately, guys, we are actually almost out of time. We're, like, literally only, like, a minute or so. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll have at least one fight just to end it off on a high note. I don't want to leave, leave you guys off too hanging, you know, without any action. So let's go ahead and kill this guy. All right, new enemy. What are you? Now's our chance. All right, get some action in finally. All right, man trap and egg snake. All right, just like in the first game. All right, battle scope. Man trap. There we go. All right, man trap. A plant like monster that roams highways, draws impurities from below the ground, and attacks with them. Weak against fire. Okay. Here we go. All right, Reen. Battle scope. Egg snake. All righty. All right, a retellion monster that has taken up living in the egg of a large bird. Its fangs have deadly venom inside them. All right. May I? Ah, uh, yeah. You might as well end the fight. Nah, I'm just joking. We're gonna we're gonna work this one out a bit. <laughs> oh, frozen. Nice. Right. All right, shoot it. Eat that. Very nice. My turn. All right, go for it, Fee. All right, po poison the plant. That's actually kind of funny. All right, um, attack that one. Take that snake. Very well. All right, finish it off. My turn. Wow, that was a weird sound delay. Well, let's try again. It's my turn. Here we go. Take this. My turn. All right, one more hit. That's that. Let's keep moving. Okay, not too bad. All right, cool. And Sharon, Machias, Laura, and Emma are about to level up soon. Okay. All right, guys, but unfortunately, that is it. That was the... I know, I know we only had one fight, but that is all the time I actually have for today. So definitely next time, I think, I think I will go ahead and explore the rest of the highway. Let's check the map one more time. Yeah, we'll explore the highway, and then we'll go ahead and get that cat and finish up. Um, and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and save. And y yeah, if you guys enjoyed the videos, please hit the like button for today. That'd be awesome, helpful, like usual. And we'll just go from there. So definitely for next time, we'll, we'll explore this highway. We'll get the kitten. We'll start the other side quest, too. We might as well get that out of the way. And then we'll finally enter the Noble District to see what's going on with Muses. Because apparently that's where it's leading to. And then we had that mysterious moment where Sharon was like, Hmm, something's happening here, but she won't tell us. <laughs> Alright, guys. So until then, this is Anime Free Chaos. And I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody.